All right, everyone. Uh, here at Top Gun Oilfield Training, we did a little experiment. Thought maybe I'd like to share it with you. Um, I had students ask me when we rebuilt CCLs what would happen if the magnets snapped together instead of repel, because they're supposed to repel each other, and that's how you put them in the coil. And I never knew how to answer it. I said, I don't, I don't know what would happen. Uh, people have told me uh, the CCL just doesn't work real good. Um, I've heard also that uh, it may kick to one side, to the right or left. And uh, I said, you know what, why don't we just check it out? Let's just experiment and do it. So what we did is we put it on the test well. This is a two and three quarter inch CCL. Uh, the test well has drill stem in it, so the collars are a lot bigger than the normal uh, casing collars. Um, but we started testing, and we started with the settings. We got everything right on our preliminary run and got it right, and we started logging up from 500 feet. And uh, we started at 50 feet a minute, and uh, you can kind of see how these collars are looking. Coming on up, and you can see we sped up to about 100 feet a minute, and naturally the collars are getting bigger. They're coming on up. Uh, and then as we got to about 150, the collars are really nice and big and strong. Baseline's still nice and clean. Uh, it looks pretty good. Collars look really good for 150 feet a minute. So uh, pretty pleased. Now, what we did was we came out of the hole and just flip-flopped the magnets around and got it to where it's backwards. All right, and this is what this log, look, log looks like. So let's scroll down to the bottom to the wrong magnet one. So we can go down to the bottom and start. And we start logging up, and we are going the same speed, about 50 feet a minute, and uh, <laughs> we're not getting much on our collars. I mean, very little. Now, we can magnetize these or bring it in with our, with our um, warrior to see it, but it would just be really ugly. But I can see a little bit of the collars that are showing up. Uh, we did speed up to about 100, and now the collars are showing up a little bit better. You're seeing some little clicks. Uh, so it is functioning a little bit now. Like I said, my well has some big old collars, so it's really picking up a lot of metal mass change here. So that's at 100. We then bumped up to about 150, 160. So you can see what collars are picking up. You got to go fast to pick them up. And then we got, I think we jumped it up to 200 feet a minute here. And uh, the CCL never got any better. It looks like the Looks like the baseline just gets noisier. Uh, but that's what it looked like uh, in our little experiment. Um, not too good, but if you were to see this logging, let's say you put a new CCL on or somebody rebuilt it and you see this, you're gonna know by looking at this video, you're like, nah, somebody put the magnet backwards, didn't realize what they were doing. So it would be an easy fix. Just pull it out and check your magnets, make sure it's right. So anyway. Um, hope this helps. If you like these type of little videos and what we're displaying, uh, join us on YouTube. We're on either Top Gun or All Shots Fired. Subscribe to us so you can get the latest videos we come out with, with Wireline and things that you may think are important. So anyway, all right, guys. Thanks for watching.